What is going on, you guys? Nick here with another video. Today, I'm going to answer yet another question about Graphene OS, which is how do you back up your files? I've had a few people ask me, you know, if you don't have an iPhone, you don't have Android, you don't have, you know, like Google Photos backup or iCloud backup or anything. I didn't really use those services anyway. So, you know, I don't really keep anything that important on my phone other than footage that I film for YouTube videos. And that's only for a short time until I transfer it to a computer where it's going to be edited. So, you know, I never really thought about it, but I am going to show you today how you can back up your phone if you're running Graphene OS. You're going to need a couple things for this. Uh, we're doing the USB method, not the Nextcloud method. Uh, I may attempt that later in a, in a later video, uh, but I don't really want to stick my stuff in the cloud. So... Uh, you will need either a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter and a normal USB Type-A flash drive or a USB Type-C flash drive, in which case you won't need the adapter. If you have a Pixel device, the Pixels usually come with a Type-C to Type-A adapter in the box, which is pretty handy. Um, and when you first put your flash drive into your phone, it is going to prompt you to format the drive. So let's go ahead and put the drive in. Oh, and also you need to make sure you have USB devices enabled in this. One security feature of Graphene OS is that you can actually tell it not to allow USB devices to connect to it. So that's kind of a cool feature, but it can definitely get in the way if you're trying to do a backup. So you'll want to make sure that you turn that off. So you can see here Seed Vault backup is already scanning files, but let's jump into settings and system and backup and then last backup was never so now it's trying to back up some files removing old backups so you can see here it's backing up all the apps and application data i believe that includes text messages but that's what i want to see and in order to do this you'll need your 12 word recovery phrase uh, you'll, if you forgot that from when you first set up Graphene, you will want to go in and create a new one. So you see there, backup's already running. But anyway, once you've configured your backup, you need to choose a location, which will be, you know, in my case, the Samsung flash drive. Set your recovery code, which you can generate a new code if you don't know what it is. Tell it to backup your apps. Uh, last backup status, it's not really... Ah, I see, so it is. It's waiting on the SMS and everything. Cool. And then automatic restore, meaning it will automatically restore the data when you restore. And then app backup, which is backing up the apps themselves, as in the actual APK files. And then you can back up your files, and you can choose which files and folders you want it to back up. So let's look back at this backup status. So it does back up all the apps. Oh, you can choose which apps to exclude. That's also a nice feature. So basically, once you get it in and set up, all you need to do is hit the three dot menu and hit backup now, and it will back up to the uh, external device. You wanna make sure that you have enough battery charge to accomplish this. I usually do something like this from about 100% charge. I know I started this one kinda, kinda low, but anytime I'm gonna be moving a lot of data, I make sure that my phone is charged up. Now, like I said, this is the first time I'm actually doing this backup, so I don't know how long it'll take. I may pop back in, when it's done, just to let you guys know how long it took. Uh, I hope this video helped some of you. Uh, if it did, please leave a like on it. If you hated it, feel free to leave a dislike. That does help too. Leave comments down below for discussion or if you have questions. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. The channel started growing again, which is awesome. I know you have to upload to get subscribers, so I've been trying to do that at least weekly. If you guys like this and you want to see more content, let me know down below and I'll keep making Graphene OS videos. Eventually, we'll run out of content because this is a fairly simple operating system, but that's fine. We should end up with a good playlist that documents how to use Graphene OS just in time for Android 12 to drop, which I think is coming pretty soon. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.